So this is what we have going on right here. We are gonna make some taquitos de carne asada. This is what we got going on. The meat. Nice and tender. And this is what I have going on. I'm gonna make a picadillo and a guacamole. These are some of the ingredients. So right here, I'm just chopping some cilantro, making it nice and fine. And then for our salsa or picadillo, so I'm just adding them in this bowl right here. Make sure you chop your cilantro nice and fine and thin and remove all your stems because we're not going to need those or you can save them for your other salsas if you need to. The next ingredient that we're using are these tomatoes. So make sure you wash your tomatoes, rinse them and start chopping them. I like to chop mines from the middle here. I like to sharpen my knives um, because when you're cutting tomatoes, you want your knives to be very, very sharp. And, and this is what I was doing right now so I can cut my tomatoes nice and fine and easier. So this did the trick and I was able to cut them and slice them really nicely and easily. Also, we are um, chopping about two or three um, uh, tomatoes, depending on your taste or depending on how many people you're going to be serving with this salsa. So make sure um, you add the ingredients accordingly to your family members. Next, I'm just going to take some limes and I'm going to chop them up into small little um, dices. Um, and then I'm just going to squeeze them, squeeze the juice, squeeze the lime juice into my um, other ingredients. And that's what I'm doing here. The next ingredient that I'm using right here is this red onion. So I'm just going to take half of the red onion and chop it into fine little pieces. And you want to make sure that the, the uh, red onion is chopped nice and fine and thin. So this is what I'm doing right now. the sun 
Next, I'm going to squeeze the rest of the lime juice from these limes to make sure that we have um, a lot of lime juice in this salsa. Um, and then after that, I'm just going to take this jalapeno, um, cut the tip, and then dice it and remove all of the seeds from the inside because um, this makes everything taste more spicy so you want to remove everything from here and just dice them and remove all the seeds Here I'm just adding a teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt. And I'm also adding the rest of these limes because the more lime juice that we have, the better it is for our salsa. Next, we're just gonna mix everything all together. Uh, all the ingredients with the lime juice and the Himalayan sea salt to give it um, nice flavor everywhere. Aquí ya nomás la voy a probar de sabor, a ver si le hace falta más sal o más limón o más pimienta. La pimienta y le voy a echar sal. Pero como ya tenía sal, nomás le voy a poner pimienta. Se lo vamos a mezclar un poquito y ya va quedando. Next, I added salt and pepper to taste. So this is according to your liking. Make sure you mix very well. Make sure that all the ingredients are being blended in. And this is the rest of the salsa. <laughs> Aquí está la salsa. Estamos comiendo con unas sabritas chips. Ya está la carne. No lo quiero que nada. Yo con unas. Unas tostaditas. Mm. So here we're just adding the tacos. We're uh, adding the meat into the tortilla. Next, we're just going to prepare our tacos with their salsa that we prepared. Adding the salsa to the top. And we could also add some more lime juice and salt to your taste. And that's all we have. We are ready, getting ready to enjoy these delicious tacos on this Taco Tuesday. So make sure you guys give me a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let me know if you liked this recipe, if you like this um, salsa. It's really delicious and healthy. So I recommend it. I highly recommend it if you want to um, include it on your next Taco Tuesday or your next Taco day that you're making your tacos but i hope you liked my uh recipe 
and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.